Hello and welcome to this BuyBot Pro video. I hope you're doing well and today we're going to be talking about the details section. What exactly are you looking at when you analyze the deal and you get all of these numbers pop up? Now, before we go ahead and talk any further about the details section, at the time of recording this video, small and light has now come to an end in the UK. If you are in the US, it came to uh, an end last month at the end of August, but in the UK, it ended yesterday officially. So in the wake of that, we were very prepared with BuyBot Pro. As soon as it ended, the small and light toggle was removed from BuyBot Pro. So if you're wondering where that's gone, it has now been removed because small and light has ended in the wake of Amazon's new fees. Now, if you're wondering if BuyBot Pro um, has the new fees whenever Amazon changed them, uh, yes. So BuyBot Pro will get the numbers directly from Amazon at the point when you press analyze. So everything that you have, all of the numbers from Amazon, all of the fees are 100% up to date. Um, and with any changes, it happens right away because as I say, BuyBot Pro gets the numbers directly from Amazon. So once you've analyzed a deal, you'll find that all of the numbers populate in the details section. Now, what exactly is it that you are looking at in here? The details section is one of those make or break factors as to if you go ahead with the item or not. It's all of your numbers, which is very important to know before you go ahead and purchase the item. You need to know exactly what you're getting into, what kind of profit you're looking at, and how much is going to be costing you. So let's start from the top and work our way down. So right away we get the ASIN and if we hover over this we get the product details which gives a bit more in-depth information about the product itself. So it tells us the category, the weight and dimensions of the product. We can see if Amazon have sold the item in the last 90 days and if Amazon are in the buy box currently. Um, and then we can see the model number for the particular item and the package quantity. So how many are in this particular package? We would then be able to see a UPC, um, if there is one, so UPC, Universal Product Code, and it's a barcode that's recognized globally. Um, and EAN is for uh, European Article Number, and again, that is another barcode that is recognized globally. Um, and what you can do if UPC or EAN appear, you can copy those to your clipboard to make it easier to paste that wherever it is that you need that information. You'll then be able to see the brand of the item as well, the profit margin. So BuyBot Pro will do the maths calculation and tell you your profit margin percentage. The max sold price, so this is the highest FBA third-party price this ASIN has been offered for over the last 365 days. Now, if you have a repricer like Profit Protector Pro, for example, and you are struggling with, you know, what exactly do you set as your max price, this can be a good um, this can be a good number for you to use as your max price if you're setting up repricing information. Of course, check the current price range on the listing itself because you don't want the higher price range on the listing to be somewhere around, I don't know, 60 for example, and the, all the way up there at say 100 and or, or more. That will just um, cause a suppressed buy box, which is not good for you. Um, it's not good for anyone else on the listing. So of course, correlate that data with the current price range on the listing, um, but the max sold price is usually a good way to judge what kind of max price you want to be setting on the item when you're using a repricer. You can see the max buy cost. So this um, is where you set your required ROI and profit in the criteria section of BuyBot Pro in your settings panel. Um, and BuyBot Pro will tell you the maximum you can pay to purchase the product in order to meet that criteria. So this is the most you could afford to um, buy the product for whilst um, remaining within your profit and ROI criteria. You can see your break even so where you're not selling the product for a, uh, so sorry, the price that if you sold for that, um, it wouldn't make you a profit nor would it make you a loss either. Uh, exactly what it says there in the description as we have over anything. It's the same without most of BuyBot Pro. If you are struggling with what something means or what it does, you can hover over it and it will tell you. Um, so again, break even. If you sell for that price, you'll be making a profit nor a loss. It takes into account all fees and expenses as well. And that brings us to our total cost. So the total amount uh, this is going to cost us. So um, as we hover over this, it gives us a breakdown of all of the costs. So not only do we have the cost of the product itself to take into account, we also have all of these other costs as well, which BuyWap Pro is making us aware of. So as we can see, we have the Amazon referral fee, um, closing fee, storage fee, FBA fulfillment fees, um, PAN, PAN VAT. If we are um, using PAN or EFN, we can toggle this on in the calculator 
um, at the top of BiBot Pro and it will take this into account when it does the calculation. The VAT, um, if applicable, prep fees, extra fees, and shipping costs. So what we've entered into the fee section of our settings. Um, and of course, if we were analyzing the Merchant for Food Wafer toggle on the MF toggle, it will remove things like the FBA fees um, and you'll find that the total cost looks a little bit different, obviously because it's Merchant Fulfilled, you're not having to pay Amazon um, those fulfillment fees. That gets taken into account um, as does storage fees as well. So you've got the storage fee slider here. So it automatically takes into account one month's worth. Now you have the storage fee slider both here in the details section and in BuyBot Pro Island. If you change it on one, it will change it in the other as well. Um, and so let's say if you move the storage fee slider to um, five months, everything will recalculate. And obviously your total costs will go up because the longer you keep something in storage, the more you're going to have to pay for it. Um, so you are able to take um, up to 12 months worth of storage fees into account with BuyBot Pro. If there is a discount on the item, you'll be able to apply that. So um, you might already have the discount worked out for you. Let's say at a voucher for 10% off or something like that. You might have already worked that out and you'd have entered in that discounted buy price into BuyBot Pro. But if you don't want to work it out, let's say it doesn't work it out for you on the website or you're just testing, uh, you can use the discount section. Let's say, let's say you had a 10% off voucher, click on that. It applies that discount and then recalculates your ROI profit and everything else. You can stack these as well. So let's say it was 35%, you can click on the 10 and the 25 and it will stack them for you. Or if there was a number that you didn't have in here, you can enter that into the custom section. It will work out that discount and recalculate everything in the details section. Then provided that you sell at the sale price up here, it's taken into account everything that we have. So our total cost, the sale price, all of the fees, um, it then gives us an estimate for our ROI and profit. And obviously the ROI percentage will be using the sum that you have selected in your Bible Pro settings. So when you go to your Bible Pro settings, check the ROI methods and check the sums and obviously use the one that is right for you. Use the ones that um, that take into account everything that you want them to take into account. So it's completely your choice what ROI method you choose. ROI method one is the most basic way to work out return on investment. But if you're in the UK, we tend to advise method four. Um, in the US, we tend to advise method five. We advise both of those because they take a lot more into account Method four is obviously taken into account VAT. Method five um, is VAT exclusive because in the US you won't need to worry about that in your ROI sum. So those are recommended methods, but ultimately if you check the sums in the settings, choose the one that fits best for you and apply that. Don't forget if you change anything in the settings, whether you're adding a fee, changing ROI method or something else, press save and sync at the bottom of the settings so it can take those changes into account. But that is the detail section in BuyBot Pro. Um, if you change the sale price or buy price or anything like that, just click on analyze and it will work out the details again for you. Um, and as I say, everything is taken directly. So all of the fees are taken directly from Amazon at the point when you press analyze. So as anything changes on Amazon, if their fees change, don't worry, BuyBot Pro is 100% up to date. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.